What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to another match day experience on the channel. Today I'm off to Fulham against Brentford and I have a very special guest. Hello. Introduce you to Kai. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this man has never been to a football match. He doesn't know a damn thing about football. You're gonna have to explain the or, or anything, he can't stand it. I've, the only way I've got him here is because it was a free ticket, <sighs> kindly by the, by the club. Um, so a massive thank you to that. But um, this video is part of my sponsored videos through OneFootball, and there'll be a video here or here explaining what it is, but it's a really cool app in which you can download it and link it to your favorite football team or whichever football team you're going to watch that day. Um, and it's got all the stats, figures, um, and anything like that you could possibly want. So the links are in the description. Please go and download it, it really helps me out, and it is a genuinely a really good app. I've been using it for weeks now. Um, and as long as the signal's okay, it wasn't last night, but as long as the signal's okay, I'll do some more of it um, when I get to the ground. So in the meantime though, we're running really late. Let's go. But you repeat that all like no arms in it, right? You cold? Yeah, bloody freezer. <laughs> <laughs> when will you no. learn you can't come to a football match? Whether it's May, January home. or you October. We, go home. we did go home. You didn't want to go to mine. You were like, I said oh, you want to go to your and you said I have that. a coat. No. Not a book. He's meant to be a rugby player and he's moaning about the cold. I don't play rugby. Come on, or... sort it out. And from that town. Mind your head. On Fulham Road, is this Fulham Road? I think it's actually Stevenage Road. Are you excited? And we're walking around Kangway, we're never gonna find them. Literally, he's Literally. buzzing. Literally. He's loving all the, um, the, so the Fulham Utes. Already. The Fulham Utes that we've bumped into already. And he, it's, it's busy. I blame the parents. I blame the parents too. Always blame the parents. Always the parents. As long as there's goals today, I'll be happy. Couldn't give a shit about the score. As long as there's goals. There's the cottage. Okay, that looks not much like a cottage, more like. Yeah, yeah. We're actually in the mixed stand, mixed home and away fans. This is dangerous territory, boys. Oh, oh dear, narcotics. Pyrotechnics. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what I make of this, the neutral section. I suppose it's fairly true for us though. <laughs>
be any pitch or base or anything though, but so yeah, we're in the neutral section, which is a stand basically where home and away fans are allowed. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it came from sort of 2005 when Fulham had a Japanese player, Inamoto or whatever his name was. I think that's why, I've heard that from somewhere. But leave you know, leave in the comments below. What's your score prediction?
very, very good half. Lots of attacking football. Did you enjoy your first 45 minutes of live football? I was in um, a more atmospheric part of the ground to show you guys, but can't complain. So hopefully some more goals can set that. From Dad, Uncle Jack and Grandad. Uh -huh. Happy 10th birthday to Alex Brooks Martin. Happy 1st birthday to Ronnie Lawrence. Happy, Happy 70th Dad. birthday to Peter Edley. Happy 70th birthday as well to June Gilbert. To Patricia Wicks, a very happy 70th birthday tomorrow. A lifetime full of Van Born and bread up the road at Parsons Green. Have a great birthday weekend. Starting hopefully with three points today for all the family. Children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Happy 13th birthday to Herbie and Rufus Lawrence from Mum from and Dad. Happy 30th birthday to Rosie Bowles. Happy birthday to Rex Palmer Mersh. Happy 79th birthday, Victor Morgan. Happy birthday, Hannah, love from all the family. Happy 13th birthday, Paddy Whitten in Travelling Hooli, who loves the words. This is her ninth year as a season ticket holder. That's love from Mum, Dad, Lily and Quinn. Happy 8th birthday to Lucas Stannard, love from all your family. Happy 60th birthday to Nick Hennessy. A special welcome to Ron Ingram and son Connor Ingram. Happy early birthday to Waddles here as well with his dad and Silver Fox. Or his dad the Silver Fox. A shout out to Adam Thurston here at the cottage today. Uh, trying to visit as many football grounds this year as possible to raise money for Prostate Cancer UK. So great cause. Welcome to the cottage now, Adam, and best of luck uh, with the rest of the grounds. Happy birthday birthday to Ned. Uh, he was 13 last Wednesday and he's here with his brothers uh, uh, Stan and Tom Good shout out there. and with Will. Nice one, and a big shout out to Sam. guys I hope you did enjoy that match day experience I've just been watching the Anthony Joshua fight and he's done it again the man is a machine um, really good day with Kai at Fulham against Brentford it was one or it was a shocking second half compared to the first um, but Fulham have literally all but secured their playoff place with Leeds only drawing at home to Norwich so that unless a miracle happens on the final day with goal difference then there's no chance of anything changing now so yeah I hope you have enjoyed 
Massive shout out to Ivan for sorting out our tickets. Um, it was much appreciated. Please make sure you go down and download One Football. I couldn't, unfortunately, do any um, in app things at Craven Cottage because the signal there is horrendous. It's up there with Old Trafford in terms of how bad it is. Um, and yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter, all those kind of things. Like the video. Can we hit 250 likes? Subscribe if you haven't already. Still hunting for that 5,000 subscriber mark. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow for Bristol Rovers Middle. Take care. Bye.